where they did, and, I, and I'm telling you, even when the show got postponed, this is this is y'all becoming one great show. We got country, we got some jazz, we got funk hip hop, we got Keith Glass coming out with John Ed Thompson here performing tonight. It's a good show. We got Mobile Mystery Dinners in the house. If you know a good thing about Mobile Mystery Dinners, man, they're gonna go 180 percent every time. And if you see these pops and stuff they got here, you'll know it's true. All right, and we're going to get started. Give yourself a round of applause. You're an awesome audience. Can you hear you? All right. Let's see what the Mystery Dinners has for us. Everything. Woo. Woo. Tell them about Let's find out who our contestants are. 
tonight. Our first contestant on your left, excuse me, on my left, on your right, as you're looking into the radio, is Brenda Lee. Hester, <laughs> tell us something about Brenda. Okay, Thomas, well it says here, Brenda Lee is the fastest weaver in her colony. <laughs> she once wove enough cloth for five men's shirts in only one month. Wow, nimble fingers. <laughs> By the way, where's her sister? There was supposed to be four of them. Yes, unfortunately, Sandra Lee was a bit under the weather. Oh, that's too bad. Sandra Lee stood us up. Oh, no. All right. In the middle is her cousin, Immediately. <laughs> Tell us something about Immediately. Well, it says here that Immediately played a crucial role in the drafting of the Declaration of Independence. Oh, my gosh. What did he do? He was in charge of keeping the inkwells full and a fresh supply of fields ready. Well, somebody's got to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody's got to do it. Uh, have any other quirks you've heard about immediately? And it does. It also, as a side note, says he has been known to let the horses out of the barn before the doors are even open. Oh! <laughs> no wonder he has the nickname uh, the Premature Lee. <laughs> Our final contestant is his brother, Dastard Lee. <laughs> Tell us what you know about Dastard. Dastard Lee is the best ribbon maker in his colony. He has promised to give a ribbon to every soldier who takes up arms against the British. Well, how about that? But you know, I think Dastard's reputation precedes him. What do we know about Dastard Lee that we don't want to know? Yes, Dastard is best known for his role as a tea baggie in the Boston Harbor. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so this is not only a patriot, this is a wild and crazy patriot. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, are you ready? We're going to ask a question that takes in the whole of American history. Our nation is now going on 51 days. <laughs> so this is really more or less a uh, short-term memory uh, event. Um, we're going to ask questions that take in the whole history. We're going to be asking questions about the new flag that we understand was just sown about two weeks ago. So we ought to be excited. The audience has already given their opinions. So let me go up to Miss Brenda Lee here and say, Question to you. 
what thing would you expect to be on our new American flag? Oh, no, no, no. Red stripe! Red stripe! Red stripe! Whoa! Survey! Show me! Red stripe! Oh, okay. I think we can both agree that was a pretty stupid guess, too, huh? All right. You know, rampant lions on a field, uh, lances. Come on, guys. It's not rocket science. I don't even know what that is, but it sounded good. All right, our last contestant, Dastard Lee. All right, Dastard, tell us what one thing you would expect to find on the brand new American flag that's going on three weeks old. Go ahead, take the microphone. Uh, this is for all the apples. We're all going to eat if he gets it wrong, ladies and gentlemen. A coil snake. And the words, don't tread on me. <laughs> what a tea bagger. Who the heck expects to find out on the New American flag? But we're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Survey, show me, coil steak, and don't tread on me. Oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, come up in an orderly fashion after the show, and you will each be given a bite of apple. Hester and I have had our chance, of course. All right, Hester, darling, can you tell me what was the number three survey result from all of our pop-bellied audience about what you would expect to find on the New American flag? Number three. A loose stitch. A loose stitch, of course. What do you think this is? You people are from Virginia. When you do the Virginia wheat reel, you've seen dresses come unraveled completely, haven't you? Oh my gosh, of course, a loose stitch. <laughs> you know what are these guys thinking, huh? <laughs> All right, Hester Darling, number two in our survey of the pop belly members of the audience. White stars made from George W's used knickers. Aha! That way our flag's not only picturesque, it's pungent as well. All right, you know he was only able to make, she was only able to make 13 stars, though, because GW wears briefs and not boxers. <laughs> oh, come on! Somebody's going to ask the president that in the future, and that's information worth knowing. If he'd have worn boxers, God knows how many colonies we would have. All right, the number one thing that our audience expected to find on the new American flag, what is that, Hester? A made in China label. Oh! Well, guys, I've got to say, you've let the colonists down. We're still good to say that. Oh, my God. Is that Paul Revere waving to me from the balcony? Oh, no, that means, that means everybody, everybody, get down the tickets and come in. Everybody, get down the tickets and come in. I'll get the apple. I'll get the apple. I'll get the apple. And then we're good. All right, y'all ready for no good mystery dinners? Yeah! Like I said, man, these guys come, they bring it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have some more skit comedy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. FFB steroid free baseball on ESPU. Calling the game tonight is sportscaster Brent Mustahan Burger and baseball brain and former coach Spitz McGee. Well, thank you, thank you guys. Thanks for staying with us during this commercial break. We're joined here tonight in the booth or in the table with the one, the only, the local legend from Fox 10, Mr. Michael White. Thank you. Sing out, the Weather Channel has never called people. Well, Spitz is a good 
question. It's a valid point. Here's the issue we've been seeing with baseball in general for quite some time. As many of you know, and for people watching at home, uh, they've been trying to get rid of steroids and steroids in baseball for a very long time. Well, Commissioner Bud Seeley finally succeeded in getting rid of all stimulants out of the game. So now the players are as strong as they once were. The games are now like marathon sessions. And our sports department is stretched so thin that the company does not want to pay overtime. So there's any people from other departments to go to the cage. We bought Crips Cutler and Soccer. <laughs> yeah, you, you know you're right, Michael. Uh, you guys might be better off watching the Jerry Lewis telecom because that's what you're going to get tonight. Look, getting back to talk about the players not being as strong as they, they were when I played the game. <clears throat> you know, George Steinbrenner, he'd be rolling over his grave right about now because all that money he used to spend on pay for players to put on big stats and good plays, it's just simply not there anymore. Well, you're exactly right. For instance, uh, you know, the average baseball player with he used to be what, 6'6", 220. Okay. Tonight's pitcher, 5'5", 115 pounds. <laughs> I'd be a flamethrower compared to this guy. <laughs> Look at this position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, dude, dude. There would be no so allowed nice. near the field with that cup of Oh, that's right. Absolutely no stimulus in the game. None. None. None, none, none. Thank you. You know, you, yes, you know, that's a perfect point. The, the baseball game we're watching tonight is truly drug free. It is not even the same game you guys used to watch. Well, for an example, do you remember when we were kids and we used to watch baseball on TV? We used to always say, yeah, I wish I could do what they did. And now, here's the best part, gentlemen. We can. <laughs> no, 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 Michael. We can do more than we can. Look, look, I'm sitting here thinking about this game we're watching, and I think we need to bring up some of the, the new rules they've got now, how it's different from the old baseball that were not played back here in the days. Woo! And uh, one of the rules, the guys just no longer have to wear Petra's mask. Well, 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 Spitz, the reason for that is the ball comes across all the way so slow, there are no, no danger. No danger with And you also got to remember the short stops are now so enough, they are the ones that are required to wear the catcher's mask. Which, <laughs> how about this rule? You hit the ball over first base, automatic home run. That's it. Home run. Well, now let's clarify that rule. Let's, now, Brett, let's clarify that. That is granted that the batter is even able to make it around all the bases. That's great. Okay. This season, I've only seen one guy hit the ball past first base. That was Stan Dorval. We all remember what happened to him. He couldn't even round second without collapsing. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This is one little point I would bring up. I'd be remiss if I, I couldn't say that. You know, some time ago when that little boy that sang the national anthem out there, he was good. Awesome, awesome. That little fellow was stronger than half the players in the field. What's wrong with that? Coach, he, as, as good as he was, and as many goosebumps as he gave the audience, you have to remember that there is no ban on caffeine for singing the national anthem. That little kid is absolutely able to use stimulants. He was all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Well, what a spider I know he was. He thought about being one. <laughs> I go with Journey all the time. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a great point. You guys in the audience, you can have all the stimulants you want. Red Diamond. Get your son back there. Now, now, let, me, now, let me ask you guys a question, okay? All the people that are watching the game, how do you think they're able to sit through these marathon sessions? Look, I, 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 I have to say, me personally, I, I think watching baseball sometimes used to be like watching tank drive. Well, now, it's like watching the Colorado River create the Grand Canyon. Uh, and I would agree with you, Brent, but that took thousands of years to happen. Oh, oh, oh we got, oh my God, yes! Guys, oh, guys, wait, 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 guys. He's just coming out the back. No, no, sorry, that's <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> What's the matter, Coach? I'm just going to pitch now. I'm just going to throw it. Right. Oh, 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 got a pitch, got a pitch. No, it's coming. We're still talking about the pitch coming to the plate. Why is it so slow? It is on the plate, but it's, it's down the middle. Wait, wait, wait. It, it doesn't hit. It's slow. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's going. going. It's going. Uh, I landed right in front of the shorts. Oh, okay. Well, hey, hey, I just hope this puts follow the white line to first base. God bless America. That boy just tripped over the white line. It's gone. It's gone. It's my foot. Guess what, guys? Seven. Guess what, guys? Relax. Guess what? What? The umpire's walking to the, to the mound. I, I, I think. I, I, I think we have it. I think the umpire is giving the signal. He's called the game. After 47 innings, we've got a tie. Zero, zero. You know what? You all can thank your umpire's union for that one because they demanded that 18 hours all games be called. Well, I can't really blame the umpire's union.
because guys, we've been sitting here a while and now we're out of coffee. I need some more red diamond because I'm I'm a little bit Well, we can all plug each other this too. Oh red diamond. Yeah, y'all get back there and get some coffee. Get some red diamond. They ain't making much of this gig, so no. we'll us that. we want to thank you all for hanging with us. We we know it was one whale of a game. Uh, I'm Brent Muscatenberger. And I'm I'm, I'm Spitz McGee. <laughs> and I'm Michael White. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, uh, and uh, we certainly hope the bugs can start scoring over time so I can stick with weather. Good night, everybody. One ball. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to the ESPN Union from the Hopes of Jerry Rose Telephone. Oh,
the whack. Need I say more? <laughs> and then we have our DIP TNT. <laughs> now these right here are a real hot commodity. But then there is my baby. Woo, right here. This is my baby. This is the Grand Marshal. Ooh, can't touch that button. This is the Grand Marshal of the 4th of July. I'll tell you what, it's so awesome that you can feel the bang on the 5th of September. Woo wee. Oh, it is my homemade masterpiece. I call it Ruby's Redneck Wonder. It's amazing. Um, now, just on this special occasion, I have made a smaller version for you guys since y'all came up and saw me. So I'm going to show you what it does. Now, what I did is uh, I took me some sulfur, and then I got some of them uh, little sparkly doodads, and uh, I got a combination of explosives, all of them barges that blew up a few months ago. And uh, then I got some C4 from uh, that crash and scene in that there Nick Cage movie. And I put all this in there. So, uh, y'all ready to see what it does? Yeah. This is a showstopper grasshopper. Okay? What you're about to witness is revolutionary. And it's like the boy of the summer and hot diggity bang. It's gonna be so wonderful that Michael White won't even be able to commentate on it because he'll be too busy Facebooking about it. So, <laughs> Alright, all right, so are we ready? I gotta get my goggles on. Oh, I gotta be some special goggles. You're gonna like these. <laughs> All right. Like that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you ready for this? This is the big kahuna now. This is the crawfish bix. This is the Sanger Secret Show Stopper. Y'all ready? All right. Now, y'all got to count down for me while I um, light this up. All right? So, uh, let's start. Five. Thank <laughs> you. 